Hey guys, the aim of this video is to show you steps on how to find the inverse of a quadratic function. So over here we have f of x equals to x squared minus 6x plus 2. So we can actually rewrite this as y equals to x squared minus 6x plus 2. To find the inverse of a function in this form is actually very difficult. So what we do is employ a small trick where we complete the square. So what we have here is y equals to x squared minus 6x. And to complete the square, we find half of the coefficient in front of x, so that would be 3. And we add the square of it, so plus 3 squared. However, to remain consistent, we also must subtract 3 squared, so that this part stays as 0. And then we add the 2 at the end. So now we can factor out our equation by focusing on this part over here. We have y equals to x minus 3 squared. And these two terms over here, we have negative 9 plus 2, which will give us negative 7. Now that we have rearranged our quadratic function into this form, we can find the inverse relatively easily. So to find the inverse, you switch the x and y's around. So we have x equals to y minus 3 squared minus 7. And now we want to solve for y. This will give us the inverse of the function. So rewriting everything on the left hand side, just to make it more easier with our notation, we have y minus 3 squared minus 7 equals to x. And now we add 7 to both sides, so we're left with y minus 3 squared equals to x plus 7. And if we take the square root of both sides, this index will cancel out, so we're left with y minus 3 equals to plus minus square root of x plus 7. And lastly, we add 3 to both sides, so we're left with y equals to 3 plus minus square root of x plus 7. And this over here is how you find the inverse of this quadratic function over here, the answer.